But Nate, I don't have any extra money at the end of the month. I may have a hundred bucks left to my name after I pay all my bills. How am I supposed to invest? Well, let's talk about it. I'm Nate, I'm the Fit Future MD. Shop at InsterSale.com, put you up, get you a cool inspirational t-shirt today like the one I'm wearing right now, London in the Googly Goo, which is my wife's book. Make sure you pick that up as well. It's on Amazon. But um, use code FITFUTUREMD for 20% off at InsterSale.com. And let's get started, right? So, you know, I think we all start uh, with very little money, right? I, don't, I haven't ever met anyone that started out with a million dollars already, right? Um, I do see that there are day traders out there that get what's called funding. And so if somebody gives them half a million dollars or a million dollars to trade with and, uh, you know, they start day trading, right? Whether it be futures, whether it be whatever, but that doesn't, that's not the point of the video. Um, but so, you know, you're 18 years old or hell, you're 40 years old, 37 years old. You're 37 years old. That's how old I am, by the way. 37 years old and you don't have but $100 a month to invest. What are we doing? Right? Well, number one, if you just did the S&P 500 and did nothing else, by the time you retired, you'd end up with $200,000 if you only invested 100 bucks, right? And 170,000 of that would be um, money that you made, right? So you basically would have only put in $36,000 and made $170,000 over that time, All right? So keep that in mind, you know, it's a lot better to retire with 200 grand than to retire with nothing, right? And I've already shown you in a previous video how basically, you know, you can take 200 grand in 10 years and make it a million. So, you know, you know keep that in mind, right? But, if I was only gonna have a hundred bucks, this is what I do, right? So every year there are these things called IPOs, right? Initial public offerings, right? And it's where a company goes public for the first time. There's some companies that are at their max capacity and they go IPO and they go initial public offering. And there's some companies that are barely getting started, right? They're, you know, they're just they just need the funding to expand their business, right? And uh, those are the companies that I'm looking for, right? And if you lose a hundred bucks, what does it matter? It was a hundred bucks, right? Um, you're still poor. You are already poor, right? You know, now, a hundred bucks a month, that would give you 12 tries a year to get, get it right right? 12 tries a year. So say you found Netflix when it IPO'd. Say you found Google when it IPO'd. Say you found um, Amazon when it IPO'd. You know, your hundred bucks would turn into $20,000, $30,000, right? which doesn't seem like a crazy amount, but going from a hundred bucks to $30,000 is pretty good, right? You know, let's say, and you're doing that 12 times a year. What if you find five of them, right? What if you find one, to, one a year for 10 years? You're at 300 grand in 10 years, right? Instead of at 65, right? You know, what if they all go to zero, then you lost $1,200 and you're still poor, you were poor in the first place. Right. So maybe you uh, you take half the risk of the strategy. Right. You spent, put, put 600 into the S&P 500. You take 600 and put it into the IPOs. Right. And then you, you know, kind of split the risk there. Also, when the IPO doubles up. Right. So say you buy one hundred dollars worth and it your your part of it jumps to 200. You can sell the hundred or sell half and keep and do it again, right? So, um, you know, that would so instead of getting 30,000, you get 15,000, but you get another chance to hit it again, right? So, 
there are other strategies that people don't talk about because they're high risk strategies. But when you're coming from nothing, what does it matter if it's high risk, right? Especially if it's, you know, you're not borrowing money and like it's not gonna put you in a hole, you know, to do it, right? Um, obviously, uh, IPOs are very volatile as well. So you actually could day trade the, vol the volatility, all right, with your 100 bucks using a uh, cash only account, right? Um, so don't use a margin account, use a cash only account, and you could actually day trade the 100 bucks every day if you wanted to, right? Um, you know, and it might not seem like a lot at first, but <clears throat> You know, you start getting to 50 bucks a day, 60 bucks a day, 100 bucks a day, $200 a day, $300 a day. You know, um, your 100 bucks can can really, really turn the tables, right? Um, but um, it's definitely a big learning curve to learn how to day trade, right? So um, that's why so many people say, oh, well, 90% lose money. Well, you got to give two or three years of learning how to learn how to do that, right? So it's not like <clears throat> you're gonna jump in, read a book, and then know how to day trade, because day trade, you have to go against what your heart is saying a lot, right? Oh, you know, it's gonna go up, it's gonna keep going up, and then it crashes out, right? Because it's not, you know, it's not a, a thing that happens, you know, because of your heart. It's a thing that happens because of fundamentals, right? So, you know, keep that in mind if you actually ever try to day trade, but um, but this is what I would do is if I was investing a small amount of money, right? Um, I would take the hundred dollars. I would look for IPOs and I would, um, invest in the IPOs and, you know, hopefully two or three of them would hit and, uh, we would have some money to invest other places as well. Right. So you can take the 15,000, 20,000 once it hits and you can put it in other places and, uh, that kind of thing. Or you can repeat the strategy, right? Um, but we're not trying to get lucky here, right? This is not a, a super lucky game. This is, hey, we found a good company that's that's an up and coming company, like a um, um, like Zoom was an IPO in twenty eighteen. Um, what was the other one? Um, Beyond Meat was an IPO in like twenty eighteen. That's five hundred percent up, right? So you turned your hundred dollars into five hundred dollars, right? very quickly so there's a lot of examples out there you just kind of have to find them and uh you know that kind of thing so but you know uh also one thing to mention on this is these ipos they have what's called a lock-in period right so there's a period where the insiders can't trade their shares for a certain amount of time when you invest in the ipo you need to know when that time frame is right because when they the insiders start trading their shares or getting rid of their shares, the stock is going to go down, right? So sometimes that's the time to buy it, right? So it might be two years and you can go buy the, the shares. Um, or it might be the time to sell yours before they get out and then buy it back, right? So keep that in mind. Um, this is what I would do if I only had 100 bucks a month to invest. I'm Nate. I'm the Fit Future MD. Shop at InsterSale.com, pick you up a cool inspirational t-shirt. Make sure you get my wife's book, London and the Googly Goo. It's on Amazon, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.